Hello, this is Dr. Jeff Kim, and occasionally I have groups reaching out asking how we have launched our Korean American Studies course. Uh, the first Korean American Studies Ethnic Studies course, high school level in the United States of America, and kind of our approach. Uh, first of all, the Korean American story is a great American story for Korean Americans and all Americans. And our approach of helping students to know their own story, tell their story, listen to each other's story with empathy and respect to do something good with their story has been very well received. And of course, that in order for our tree to grow tall, um, you have to know your roots. And so we include all our students and we invite all our students to get to know themselves. And so that's part one, getting to know their own story and tell it to one another in the group. Although this course is called Korean American Studies, uh, we have a diverse group of learners in this group, and we have the opportunity to learn from really so many different people. So I have modules like the My Story introductions, as well as the ethnography, uh, oral histories, which help to kind of draw out that funds of knowledge of the, from the students, that they're coming in with a lot of knowledge, and also from their families, once again, many who have never heard many of these stories, uh, but appreciate it afterwards when they have the opportunity to learn from their families and also with one another. Um, this course is broken up into five parts. The first part I just mentioned, to know and tell your story. Part two is kind of looking at the timeline of um, Korean American history, um, the over 120 years of Korean migration. And once again, these migration stories are connected to the migration stories of others as there's a lot of intersection and connections. So I'll have other activities that help to look at this timeline and understand, uh, once again, the connections and intersections. But a book that I like is called Korean Americans, A Concise History. And I find that it's broken up into a number of different chapters. And it allows for some jigsaw opportunity for students to become experts on different portions and then learn from one another. And I find that that's a helpful approach to very easily. This is a 100-page book to look at Korean American history, uh, the 120 years. It's a nice book that's less than 100 pages uh, does that. So that's a portion of this course, that part two. So they're getting to know their own story, and now they see Korean American history, kind of a big bird's eye view. And then, of course, it intersects with other different groups in American history. So you're seeing that um, kind of big picture view. And then we get a little close. So if you see a part three, you're looking at Korean American stories of resilience. So if you go to the CAS website or the KSEF website, uh, then the detailed lesson plans are there, which is built off the model ethnic studies curriculum, but they're supplemental. I had a chance to help in making them and they're supplemental. They're helpful because um, they're ready to go lessons um, that have the PowerPoints, Google Slides, possible assessments. And then of course I modify to be appropriate. And once again, if I were to ask someone, could you name one Korean American that made a difference in the United States or Asian American for that matter, uh, many people will probably struggle. So this is an opportunity to go in deep and learn about some American, amazing Korean Americans. There are many uh, who have an amazing story of resilience, including like Do Sanan Chung Ho, Dr. Sammy Lee, Colonel Young Ho Kim, and, and so many more as well. So that uh, is a series of modules where they kind of go in a little deeper in understanding a person in the context of American history and with others. So once again, a lot of intersection and intersectionality there as well. As they create this work, oftentimes they're using short form video to kind of tell the story, if not Google Slides. And so this is like content that a lot of people do not know. So I encourage them to kind of curate it well, and then we curate it together in a kind of a virtual museum. There's a lot of different ways we could do this. Uh, last year, we used eCadence as a place to host our, L that's our LMS, to host a virtual museum. But you, if, even if you had a Google Doc or you had a Padlet where you're putting in hyperlinks and it was linked to student work, that could be a place to even have a gallery walk as well. And then part five is to do something with the course. And last year, I think I kind of put that off until a little bit later, but the students recommended maybe starting off a little bit sooner this year so events where students get to showcase and actually do something once again with their stories of resilience. And so uh, last year, um, we did put on some events. We, we called them resilience events at various points in time where the students had a chance to do something with their story of resilience. And the students really appreciated the chance to actually do something good. Uh, and then, uh, and of course, as, they, um, as we amplify their voice uh, and give them opportunities to do something good with their own story, it creates a greater sense of agency, right? 
to make a difference in the world that we live in. We even partnered with groups like um, Invent to Prevent, which is sponsored by the Department of Homeland Security. And through that, we even in this course have a volunteer leadership group, which helps to plan some of these resilience events. And, um, and that is a way to build peace. Once again, when I created this course, um, it was in response to some of the surge in anti-Asian racism that we saw in the United States. Uh, very early on in uh, 2020, when uh, OC Human Relations put on um, a report that said about 1,000, there was a 1,800% increase in hate incidents toward Asian Americans. Uh, we saw like the elderly uh, being attacked, and eventually um, we also saw the, the murders um, happen to the Asian American women in the Atlanta shootings. And at that point, I realized I needed to do something in response to some of the surge in anti Asian racism. And I thought the best way I could do that, and once again, not reacting out of fear and anger, because that's what's oftentimes happening, fear and anger, and then reacting with fear and anger. But there was fear and anger, and then responding, though, with love and wisdom, which isn't always easy to do. But I strive toward that as my goal. And my approach, once again, is to support others and myself to know their story, tell their story, listen, and do something good with their story. So I hope that helps to break down kind of my approach to our Korean American Studies course and the five steps to help, um, or five parts of the course that allow me to launch this course and have a lot of great um, publicity and uh, benefit.